Criminal Revision Before Usain Thin Judge V. Israel Applicant vs. Union of Burma Respondent E. Sindong Oriyo Bogo Tetan Shini U Aungkai U Tetan Shini Do Pipi Pio Ni Tia Loto Shini U Tengling U Mida Zuga Sizindi Control of Imports and Exports Temporary Act 1947 whether non-payment of customs duty relevant for purpose of an offence under Section 3.1 of the Act. Hell, the questions of non-payment of customs duty is not relevant for the purpose of an offence under Section 3.1 of the Control of Imports and Export Temporary Act. Uta on for the applicant. Umya Shi, government advocate for the respondent. U Sein Thin. Judge, the applicant V. Israel, the chief steward of the Burma Five Star Liner MV Ava, who was alleged to have imported certain articles without payment of customs duty, has been convinced on his plea of guilt by the seventh additional magistrate Rangoon. Under Section 51 of the Control of Imports and Exports Temporary Act and sentenced to suffer imprisonment till the rising of the court and to pay a fine of K500 or in default to suffer six months regress imprisonment. From the judgment of the trial court, it is clear that the applicant was convinced for bringing in things without payment of customs duty. The applicant filed an application in revision before the session's judge, Handauri, in criminal revision case number 40 of 1966, in which he asserts that he was misled into admitting his guilt as he thought the offense charge against him was for non-payment of customs duty. The land sessions judge held that the trial court was justified in convicting the accused under Section 51 of the Aforset Act, as it was clear that the articles imported by him were foreign made and that they were brought in without permission. The sessions court therefore refused to do interfere with the order passed by the trial magistrate. Hence, this application in revision before me. Now, the offence for which the applicant has been convicted was in respect of one fancy paper bag, one sari, 12 ounces of wool, 4 ounces of cologne, one tube of baby chest wrap, one pair of socks, one tube of toothpaste, 15 tablets of anacin, 3 clay twice, 3 pieces of porcelain ware and a packet of 20 senior service cigarette. There is no doubt about the fact that these goods are of the descriptions specified in column 2 of the schedule appended to the Burma Tariff Act which are prohibited from importing into Burma under the Import Trade Control Order made under Section 3.1 of the Control of Imports and Exports Temporary Act. But the Import Trade Control Order provides for certain exceptions. Exception 4, with which this case is directly concerned, is couched in the following terms. Any goods import by a person either as passenger's baggage or through the post or by air for the private and personal use of the importer. This aspect of the case has been totally ignored by both the courts below and the only basis of their findings was the non-payment of customs duty which is not relevant for the purpose of an offence under Section 3.1 of the Control of Imports and Exports Temporary Act. From the nature and quantity of the goods in respect of which the applicant was convicted, there is every reason to hold that 
they were for the private and personal use of the applicant and the only point that remains to be considered is whether they can be said to have been imported either as passengers baggage or through the post or by air a strict construction would have meant that a ship's crew being not a passenger the articles in question did not fall within the definition of passenger's baggage however in the case of an air crew this definition could not come in his way as any article imported by air is exempt provided it is for his private and personal use i do not think any discrimination between a ship's crew and an air crew was ever intent by the government it is a universally accepted rule of interpretation that a proviso or an exception which has the effect of saving parties from penal and admins should be liberally construed and that any construction that leads to absurdity injustice or discrimination should be avoided to my mind the true test to see whether or not an article is covered by the aforesaid exception is the purpose for which the same is to be put to use as also the mood by which it was conveyed thus barring smuggled goods the main criterion is whether the same are for the private and personal use of the importer determination of this question depends upon the nature and quantity of the goods the status and nationality of the person importing them the mood in which the same were brought in and other surrounding circumstances tending to indicate the manner in which the goods are to be utilized it is immaterial whether or not he is aware that the goods are prohibited neither does it depend on the violation of the officials whose duty it is to prevent commission of such offence the land government advocate appearing for the respondent is also of the view that the applicant in this case is entitled to an order of acquittal in the circumstance i find it hard to hold that a charge under section 31 of the control of imports and exports temporary act has been brought home against the applicant his conviction will accordingly be quashed and he is ordered to be acquitted so far as this case is concerned the amount of fine if paid will be refunded to him